Oh, shit! I would have laughed my ass off if he hit his head on that log. Oh shit. But first, remember. Uh. Oh, we had a whole lot of shit happen this week. So marijuana became legal in Canada this week. Cops all over the country were quick to start ticketing citizens on the new laws based around this change. The leaders of our province, the CAC, who I mentioned two reviews ago, had no idea how to handle the situation. They appointed a dickless shithead named Alain Brunet, who has zero experience with the substance, never smoked a joint in his life, and is now fucking things up. He must be the type that hates drugs and hates the fact that it's now legal, so he resorted to making the word cannabis illegal, as well as the image of the marijuana leaf itself. How do you legally sell a product made with cannabis, but cannot label the product as such or face tens of thousands in fines? Get your shit together, Quebec! YouTube crashed worldwide on Tuesday the 16th, and everybody lost their goddamn minds. The dumbest ones re-downloaded the app numerous times and spent an hour restarting their Wi-Fi. Of course YouTube did the PR thing on Twitter. A new meme came out that is just absolute fucking gold. The NPC meme. NPC, non-player characters, are characters that follow a program script and have a base set of limited actions they can only execute often on repetitive autopilot mode. What does that remind you of? Yes, and rightfully so, the NPC meme was created to describe social justice warrior leftists and our applied to them. Didn't take long for it to cause a mass triggering shitstorm on Twitter. Oh, now it's dehumanizing! But calling the right Russian bots for the last two years isn't? Calling Trump voters racist isn't? Oh, these bastards don't like the taste of their own medicine. The fact that it's all the more true just adds insult to injury. It is beautiful! Speaking of medicine, Elizabeth Warren fucked herself out of the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination real good. For decades she claimed she had Native American heritage, so when President Trump called her out on it with a $1 million charity bet, she went and got DNA tested. The results came back that she is only 1 1,000th Native American. Christ. Our fucking Jeep Cherokee is more Native American than her. Why is this lying bitch still employed? I'm 0.001% Native American, therefore I'm oppressed in this society. This is the absurd mentality of the social justice warriors now. Fucking sad. We'll be back after these messages. The car should be the star, it's not about the people and then the but car. What's the price? What are the options? What are the features? So what you're saying is you don't want us to build an ad that appeals to you. You want us to build a car that appeals to you. No, what we like is for you to build a car that's not a complete piece of trash. You wanna check it out? <laughs> Big giant doors. Let me guess, there's a shitty car behind it? Ooh. Yep. It's the all-new 2016 Chevy Cruze. Ooh, I like it. No, you don't. The Cruise lets you easily connect your iPhone and access your music, select apps, maps, and more with Apple CarPlay compatibility. So if you have an Android, you just screwed? It also has available built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi. What God doesn't this car have? What doesn't this car have? I'll tell you what this car doesn't have. Reliability, lasting quality, style, speed, safety, comfort, a good price, a good marketing team, consumers, any redeeming features at all, really. I get it, okay.
And now, back to our show. Boston Dynamics, those bastards again, developed a robot that does parkour. You know damn well what I'm thinking when I see this shit. Speaking of robots, some asshole built a one-legged jumping robot called Salto. Some company built glasses that block out the internet completely. I discovered that when you actually flatten and when you rotate a regular polarized lens, you can block out LCD and LED screens, and those make up most of the displays for TVs and computers. So we had our screen blocking glasses. And so we spent the past year researching manufacturers, materials. We've done lots of prototyping. We got a trailer for Jonathan. A science fiction movie about God knows fucking what, cause that's as much as they're telling us. The world was shocked to find out that former Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi was indeed murdered by the Saudi government in a Saudi consulate in Turkey as was suspected all week. Are we surprised that evidence came out that he was drugged, tortured, beaten, his fingers removed and finally beheaded? Shitty fucking way to go. These bastards. Rest in peace. The fact that it's now legal. So he resorted to making the word cannabis illegal. As though... Ah, damn it. How do you legally sell a product with cannabis? Ah, shit. YouTube crashed worldwide on Tuesday the 16th and everybody lo... Ah, fuck. I'm one percent. Point zero uh, fucking and that ends another revealing week if you got any comments or ideas i'd like to hear them now subscribe <laughs>